Namaskar friends welcome to e spirit world channel Saturn commonly known as Shani is the second largest planet in the solar system and also the slowest moving planet in space however it has very strong effects on humans and their kundalis it has both positive and negative influences on us as per our jobs its presence is considered auspicious in second seventh third tenth and eleventh house but inauspicious in fourth fifth and eighth house not only does it control life death wealth home children but also results of legal suit theft illness related to intestines financial matters etc thus the planet of saturn can do wonders if it is favorable but can be very evil if inauspicious in certain aspects in this video we would like to make you understand how you can get good results from this planet by performing saturn remedies and enjoy good outcomes in life first chant saturn mantras Mantras are impulses or rhythms of the consciousness. They create vibrations in the spirit. Their effects, influence, method and mode of working are all a mystery. In Sanskrit, it is said, Manyana Trayate Iti Mantra. The mantra is that which saves you from repetitiveness. A repetitive thought is a worry. Mantras help to free you from your worries. Main Shani Mantra नीलान जन समाभासंग रवि पुत्रंग यमाग्रजम छाय मारतंग संभूतंग तंग नमामि शनैश चरम नेक्स्ट शनि तांत्रिक मंत्र ओम प्राम प्रीम प्राम साहा शनैश चराया नम है सेकेंड वर्शिप द काल भैर फॉर्म ऑफ लॉर्ड शिवा काल भैरव इज द लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम उद्यामाओ भैरवा शिव सूत्रास Bhairava means he who nourishes and who creates fullness. Bhairava fills up our incompleteness or lack. When we invest 100% of our energy in any action, there will be no regrets, and when there are no regrets, there is no fear or anxiety. The mind is complete, awake and in the present moment. In this state of awakened consciousness, the mind turns inward, becomes peaceful and surrenders. The surrendered mind finds prosperity, strength, peace, cheerfulness and success. Third, reap the the greatness of Saturn. The telling of mythic stories has always been a powerful form of therapy, bringing healing to people facing adversity. The greatness of Saturn is such a therapeutic myth told and retold over many centuries. Taken from the East Indian Vedic tradition, it honors the planet Saturn, who personifies time, limitations, loss, and all forms of adversity. Next, worship the people tree. Vedas call the people tree Ashwatha, the shade that provides rest for the divine horse. In Tamil culture, it is called the Arsamaram, the king of trees. Bhagavad Gita calls the tree as the manifestation of Krishna. The Atharvana Veda book number 5 calls the tree the Amrita of the world. Siddhartha Gautama meditated under the tree and became the Buddha. Thus, Buddhists call the tree Bodhi, the tree of enlightenment. Next, walk barefoot on grass on Saturdays. Life does not always believe in strength. A weakness has beauty in it because it is tender and soft. A storm comes, big, strong trees will fall. Grass will simply bend, and then the storm goes by, and they are again smiling and flowering. In fact, the storm has freshened them; it has taken their dust. That's all. They are more alive, younger, fresher, and the storm has given them a good bath. And the old trees, very strong, have fallen because they resisted. they would not bend they were very egoistic one of the things that saturn is trying to teach us is to be humble walk on the grass on his day saturday is ruled by saturn to invoke the blessings of saturn next worship lord hanuman when you pray to hanuman with devotion and completely surrender to him you imbibe his qualities and those are the exact qualities that can help you with saturn it helps you with a positive saturn energy next donation be your karmic debts without expecting anything in return saturn is the lord of karma 
and by voluntarily and lovingly donating to those in need you can pay your karmic debts. Dhanam is the Sanskrit word for charity or donation. Living creatures get influenced through Dhanam, enemies lose hostility through Dhanam, a stranger may become a loved one through Dhanam, vices are killed by Dhanam. Next, be in the present moment, meditate. Saturn shows us our reality, he creates difficulties in life for us to appreciate what we have here and now. So learn to be in the present moment to honor Saturn. Meditation helps you be in the present moment. Next, listen to Dashratha Shani Stotram. Saturn enters the star constellation of Rohini once in every 30 years. This is one of the most feared transit for kings and their kingdom as their country goes through a severe phase of poverty. It is said that during the reign of King Dashrath when Saturn was about to enter Rohini Nakshatra, King Dashrath worshipped Saturn and pleased him with his prayers. Saturn did not enter Rohini during the reign of King Dashrath. Hence the Dashrath Shani Stotras are considered an excellent remedy for Saturn-related troubles. Now last, simplify your life by removing clutter. We fear Saturn because he removes things that are not needed for our growth. One of the simplest ways to please Saturn is to declutter and stay organized. Remove clutter at home by discarding things that you no longer need. Remove clutter in your mind through silence and meditation. Remove clutter in your life by staying away from relationships that no longer serve your growth. So friends, hope you be like this information, write in the comment box and do not forget to share, then we'll meet, in the next video, with a new topic thank you and goodbye.